This video was kindly sponsored by the Nick Morn Foundation. Welcome back to Going Green. Today we're at one of the most advanced recycling centres in the UK to see what happens once your bin gets taken away. Knowing what you can and can't recycle isn't easy. We all want to recycle properly, but how do we know we're doing it in the right way? In this video, we will be speaking with the Director of Sustainable Technology at Veolia, who will be showing us around the facility and will be giving you some meaningful tips to help you recycle properly. Globally, only 13% of all of our waste is recycled. Every year, humans produce more than 2 billion tons of waste. Nearly 300 million tons of this waste is plastic, and half of this is single use. Much of this ends up in landfills or even the oceans. Landfills are one of the driving factors behind methane gas emissions, a powerful greenhouse gas that traps heat in the atmosphere, causing the acceleration of climate change. The waste that reaches the oceans is killing sea life due to the toxins in the plastics that enter the food chain. This in turn also threatens human health when sea life is consumed. We sat down with the Director of Sustainable Technology at Veolia to get a better understanding of how important recycling really is. So my name is Tim Duretz. I'm a Director of Sustainable Technology. Uh, so I look after the improvements of sorting and recycling for a company called Veolia and we are collecting the waste of uh, six to eight million people in the UK. So it's called an integrated waste management facility. We are extracting the, the, you know, the recyclable material, the plastic, the glass, the metal, the fiber, the cardboard, etc. And it's about 120,000 tons uh, per year, which makes it one of the biggest in, in the UK. But there are about 100 of, of these in the country. Wish cycling is when people put things into the bin without actually knowing whether or not it can be recycled. So we asked him how this has impacted the facility. It comes from a good intention, you know, people want, it's a wish, you know, they want to recycle more. So they put things which, uh, in their recycling bin which should not be there. And the typical ones we've got is, you know, plastic toys, electronical device. We can recycle them, we can collect them separately and recycle them, but not in the, in the recycling bin. Different areas often have different recycling regulations, so we wanted to know why this was. For various reasons, one of the reasons is that it has been built 10 years ago. Uh, we might build a, you know, a new one in the next few years and the technology we use is, is different, has evolved. And that's why some can cope with certain plastics. But in the, by 2023, 2024, there's a new governmental uh, strategy called the Resources and Waste Strategy. The aim is to harmonize that nationally. It's called consistency of collection. All the, the local authorities will, will collect the same way, the same waste. But we need a bit of time as an industry to, to, uh, to adapt. And we also talk about the, the labeling. So each piece of packaging will have a, a standardized uh, label, which tells the public, yes, put it in your, in your, in your recycling bin or no, put it in your, in your rubbish bin. Lots of advancements are currently being made in the recycling sector. So we wanted to know if Tim was excited about the future. Yeah, very, very excited and for, for different reasons. I think we've got more engagement from the public. New regulations coming, we've got the, the plastic tax, the deposit return scheme, and, and the technology does evolve. You've seen on the side the, this uh, artificial intelligence camera, which is new, an innovation that we are, we are, we are doing as, as a company. So all these together, I'm convinced that we will improve. So yes, I'm, I'm hopeful and excited in the same time. Knowing what you can do at home can be challenging, so we asked Tim for his main piece of advice for the public. Probably to follow the guidance. You know, if you go on your council's website, you will find a section about uh, recycling, what can go in your, in your recycling bin. So that will be number one. And number two is when you go shopping, you know, there's the eco-design packaging. So when you buy, you know, you, you get the power to change and to help the, the, the recycling rate at the country when you, when you purchase your, your, your goods. Soft plastics are one of the main issues affecting sea life, so we wanted to know why they weren't being recycled more. The main reason is the, it's not easy to sort out of the, the other waste. It's also quite uh, expensive to recycle it, to make you know, pellets that we do out of bottles, and it's a bit more difficult to do with soft plastics. And that's why some supermarket decided, OK, I'm going to collect it in front of store. Then it's clean, it's isolated, and then it's easier for, for like a company like Veolia to, to then recycle it. So we're trying, but yeah, ideally it needs to be collected separately. But uh, again, at the end of the day, I think we know how to recycle. This is happening, and what we need to do is to do more of this 
to have more of this facility and to, and to, 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 to do better at the, at the country. And uh, let's do it. We should all try and be mindful that once we are done using something, it goes on a journey and becomes someone else's responsibility. We hope you are able to have a greater understanding as well as take some tips from this video and apply them in your daily habits. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.